Tiger at Lawrenceville, Senior Master Ma Stiller here with a very important mat chat. So this is to explain our cycle from August to October, how we're going to do things, what we've been presented with, what are the options, and so on. So the way that I have thought through this multiple times, we've talked about the mask and things like that, and we're going to be using those as well, but how, you know, the question was, how do I make this? work for everybody and that's really been the question since all of this mess hit us in March and we had to start doing shutdowns and all kinds of things. How do we make it work for everyone when everyone is different? Some people want to stay home and just do Zoom. They don't want to leave their house. They're nervous about that and I totally understand that. So how do I make sure those people are getting training? In addition, how do I make sure that people who want to come and train but do not want to do interactive work, they want to be socially distanced, get proper training. And then in addition to that, how do I make sure that those who want to get that proper regular training we had before can get that safely as well? And then on top of all that, one of the issues that comes in is how do I prevent gaps? And gaps, what I mean by that is this. If somebody stays at home and trains non-stop using Zoom and then someone else is here regularly doing the classes obviously getting the full training and so on there's going to be some gaps in level of ability unless those on the Zoom classes and socially distance classes and so on are actually really doing the, that training at home so I think I've put everything out there, but it has to be taken seriously by you. The Google Classroom videos need to be watched, need to be checked out, and if you don't know how to get on that, let me know. The form videos on the dashboard and the one step videos need to be checked out and studied, and if you don't know how to get onto that, you need to let me know. The tactical online lessons that I put out every Monday and Thursday need to be done at home and practiced consistently. And if you don't know how to see those, then let me know. Now, in addition to that, here's how I'm going to run things. So, Monday through Thursday, first of all, we're going to talk about the day classes. I've been doing an 1130 Tiger Cubs class and a 1215 Everybody Else class for the day classes every day. We are going to continue that for the moment. This week that continues. Next week that continues. The reason that's going to continue is this. I've had several people say there's no way they can make it to that class because their kids are going to have them in front of the computer non-stop for that time period. I've had several others that have said Yes, the teachers, the way they're doing it, they're actually giving gaps and opening. You can log in at some time and not log in. And so my kid's going to actually be here anyway. They'll be able to come to that. I'm not sure what the numbers are going to be, so I have to see. So for this week and next week, I will be looking, especially next week, because that's when everybody's back in school, I'll be looking to see how many I have participate in that 11.30 and 12.15 class each day. Now, after that, Either I'll keep that class because the numbers are good and we'll keep doing the Monday through Thursday evening, or if nobody can make that class, I'll cancel those classes and I'll reopen my Saturday class accordingly. So that's how we're going to have the class set up for the next couple weeks and you'll be getting an announcement when the Saturday class opens up, assuming that that happens. So we'll have to see how that goes. Next, for those that are wanting to do the socially distanced class here, but not do the stuff where, where you wear a mask or where you interact with somebody. I've talked about what masks you can get, what options we have. Those were in previous videos. Tiger Rot sells a mask. There's also ones on Amazon. Make sure that it straps in the back. Make sure it's the neoprene material. Um, but with that in mind, what we're going to do is the need for the mask is when we are doing partner interaction. So what I decided to do is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
the beginning of classes starting next week, well, actually starting on Wednesday, <laughs> the beginning part of the class will be set up in a socially distanced way. The students will be spread out along the floor, they'll be in their own zones, whether I have stations set up like I've done or whether we're just in place apart doing floor drills, things like that. What we're going to do is make sure they are distanced from each other for class. Then, after about 25 to 30 minutes, the students that want to be dismissed can be dismissed, and I will tell everybody else, for those that want to do interactive class, go put your mask on. Those people will be able to do one steps with partners, ECAS with partners, sparring, and so on, the think, target holding, etc., the things that we do together for that part of the training, and that'll be about the last 15 to 20 minutes of that class. So that's how we are going to do that on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. Now, Tuesdays are only 30 minutes, so we'll still do the regular socially distance class on Tuesdays like we've been doing, because those classes are short anyway. But the Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, what we'll do is actually dismiss students that want to remain socially distanced, and then we will um, let the other people put their mask on. Now, just an update about the mask. We are trying to get those in. We've got all the youth ones we need, but adult masks are scarce. So I am trying to get those in as quickly as possible. Tiger Rot's got them back ordered and so on, just to give you a heads up on that. Lastly, we have had people ask, do parents come in and watch? At this point, if you are a new parent, your child just recently joined up and you want to come in and see what's going on, absolutely feel free to come in. Let's wear a mask and so on, be, you know, be respectful of distance, etc. But absolutely, you are totally free to come in. If you are a parent who knows what's going on, your kid's been here a while and so on, then if you don't mind, and you can stay in the car in the parking lot and that doesn't bother you, I would appreciate that simply so that we can make sure we keep our numbers in here down. Okay, That is how we will do things to make sure that we are trying to meet the needs of everyone. Last but not least, if you are a person who is doing Zoom full time, every class will still be up on Zoom. There may be times where I'm dealing more with the students and you may have to watch, hear what I'm saying, and follow along on your own, but I will have that computer on that Zoom class um, option where you can see it from home every day. I hope that is helpful and I hope we all get through this together. I'm hoping this is going to come to an end at some point. Um, but we can get back to everything being normal, but until then, I want to do the best I can to accommodate everybody. See you soon, on the screen or on the mats.